Good morning everybody, I'm Daniel, you're watching Danable Tech and today instead of showing you a tutorial on your operating system like iOS or macOS showing you how to do something better or faster or a, or a tip or a trick or anything like that today I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to actually physically clean your Mac your iPhone and your iPad. This is extremely easy. You don't need a lot of resources, a lot of products, a lot of. It's actually much easier and much simpler than you think. And just so you don't think this is coming straight out of my head, uh, all of this information on how you should clean and all the materials and everything, uh, we're taking straight from the Apple website. Okay, so they have a section just showing you product by product how you should clean it. And uh, instead of like giving you the link so you guys could read, because that's pretty boring, I decided to film this and show you in action and just show you that it actually works. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, as you guys can see, my Mac is pretty dirty. Uh, it's, it's very hard to see under this lighting, uh, but you probably can see it's full of smudges like here and there. So it's very, very dirty. Uh, let out. So all the way you got fingerprints and like it's dirty it's, it's it's not very tidy at all on the back is slightly better uh, but you guys can see there as well and you guys can see some areas but like of course we don't really touch this area so it's not that bad so let's go ahead and start with the outer case and then we go ahead and and clean the screen so for this part all we're gonna need is a microfiber cloth Okay, uh, you guys know these microfiber cloths, you get them when you buy sunglasses, when you buy MacBooks, they generally include one, when you buy a new TV, uh, an LCD, an LED TV, you get one of those, and any microfiber cloth will work. For example, this one is from Ray-Ban, so I got this obviously from my sunglasses, and they work just fine. So all you need is uh, put a little bit of water on it, okay, so it needs to be slightly damped, not not extremely uh, wet just slightly damp okay so put a little bit of water then soak it a little and then it needs to be a little bit humid okay so all you need to do after that is just obviously clean it normally so as you guys can see that as I as I clean it you can see a little bit of like the water the resist the, the, the residual water and that's how it's supposed to look okay you need to be a little bit wet instead you're just gonna be like waving your hand and not doing much okay right now we can see that it is still a little bit wet but uh, apart from these wet little stains that obviously will go away you don't see those smudges anymore you don't see those fingerprints all over the place and it is pretty uniform and it's pretty clean okay so moving on one very important part is turn off your computer okay um, so let's go ahead and turn it off okay computers off and uh, now we have to clean this keyboard area trackpad and all of this bottom inside area then we're gonna move on to the screen right here so something that is very important before we continue is a lot of people a lot of youtubers have seen a lot of videos and everybody has a method of cleaning and almost everybody is doing it wrong uh, everybody's doing like using a window cleaner or using detergent or using soap and all of that is wrong and it actually could damage your computer so do not use any cleaning product you just need this and keep in mind that water damage is not covered by your warranty so that's something to keep in mind okay so now cleaning this bottom part uh, is very easy let me show you something on before and after so as you guys can see here it is all stained look at that this and this L shape right there is very very dirty as you guys can see depending on the angle right there you can see it very clear in it clearly now so it's all stained right here and here same thing with this keyboard area right there but it's a little bit harder to see but it's all stained up there as well so let me clean it very quickly and then you can see what I'm showing again all you need to do is get your cleaning cloth and then go ahead and clean all the way around your screen just put a little bit of force to it but not too much because you don't want to screw up your screen just by putting too much force so then and in a few seconds you can already tell that this top area is much cleaner take a look at that so 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean the whole computer and then I'll be back in a second. Same thing goes for the trackpad, there's nothing special about it. Just make sure that if you have a slightly, slightly older Mac like I do, that the actual trackpad physically moves, um, it's, it's better to have it not very wet at all, just a little bit humid, because otherwise you may get a little bit of water underneath the trackpad and that's not very good. So like just a little bit humid and just go around in like circular motion and then you can go around all the way and then you're gonna have a much better result after that. Okay, I had to change the lighting a little bit so you guys could see that. So between the four and five, you can definitely see it's all dirty. Between five and six, all the all the keyboard between the keys is extremely dirty, especially those top keys right there and especially the top row as you guys can see right next to the volume changer and uh, all of that top part is very very bad so I'm just gonna clean look at that so it's all very extremely dirty so I'm just gonna clean it very fast and show you that it just works After that, you can do just an overall very light cleaning on the keys themselves. So you can see that they get very shiny because of the water. Don't worry about that. So as you guys can see, uh, the keys are a little bit wet, but between the keys, it's all very, very shiny and very, very clean, and is all like that all over the keyboard and again it works it's very easy and it does work now last but not least we're talking about the screen it's not very hard to see that it's full of fingerprints that's me and it's full of fingerprints and everything like that is very very bad so let's go ahead and clean it very quick so let's go ahead and get started That's pretty much it. It probably took like two minutes or something and uh, yeah, I'm all set. Now have a look at that screen. And I didn't even do it so well, but have a look. You don't see any imperfections or anything like that. It is just a very silky, beautiful, smooth screen and that's pretty much it. Okay, um, I'm not going to show you the bottom part as I said because the bottom part uh, is not generally very dirty and I don't think a lot of you guys are interested but if you want to clean it do exactly the same with the same cloth and you're good to go so final result pretty damn clean okay representing iPhones and iPads I'm gonna show you this iPad which I use pretty much the same materials as an iPhone so it's aluminium in the back your screen in the front if you have an older device like an iPhone 4 with a glass back you can clean exactly the same way. If you're watching this in the future and you have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7s, uh, you can clean it exactly the same way. And guess what we're gonna use to clean it? You guess it right, exactly the same microfiber cloth. A little bit damp, a little bit humid, and that's pretty much it. So have a look at this screen, it's awful. As you guys can see, it's very bad. And let me show you how to clean it. And again, 
very very clean silky screen and it got a little bit of a few scratches here and there but like that's not removable so you're pretty much done on your screen and turn into the back so then I can have this video this video 100% covered so it's not very dirty so there's not really a lot to do and then you're done so your iPad is 100% clean um, your screen your MacBook right there so then you have the case the outer case the front case and everything so that's pretty much it guys I hope you like this video uh, if you have any questions regarding cleaning if you have problems if you have um, anything you want to ask me uh, please make sure to hit the, the comment section below and then ask me what you want or what you need uh, and if you liked it please hit the like button and also the subscribe button so then you get notified whenever I post a new video and that's pretty much it bye bye